So I was at this organization selling my book, uh, The Federal Model of Leadership. And so a lot of supervisors, managers, they were just grabbing their copies. And this guy came along and he said, um, this book is good. He looked at the book, said, no, this book is good for, for leaders. It's good for leaders. I'm sure if they read this book and learn the concepts that are taught in this book, they will change their leadership styles and our organization can become a better place. So I turned to him and said, uh, so you are not a leader. He said, no, 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 I mean, I'm not a leader. <laughs> I'm a janitor. I'm a general hand. I'm not a leader. I said, okay, uh, you are not a leader. Which department are you in? And he said, ah, I'm just a cleaner. I, I, I do cleaning. I said, ah, okay. Yeah, which specific area do you clean? He said, I'm in the kitchen. In the kitchen, I'm confined to the kitchen. I said, oh, I see. I see. That makes sense. So, uh, if I, if, can I ask you one or two questions? He said, please, go ahead, go ahead. And I asked him, you are the one that's responsible for the kitchen. He said, yeah, 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 that's my area. That's my area. Don't mess with my area. <laughs> then I said, okay, so if things are messed up in the kitchen, who do we talk to? He said, are you talk to me? You talk to me because I'm the one who cleans them. Then I said, okay, so you are not a leader, but you are responsible for the kitchen. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah I am responsible for the kitchen. <laughs> okay. So I then said, so why do you say you are not the leader? Because in that area that you are confined to, which is the kitchen, if things go wrong, we look up to you. So if I need anything, if I need a glass of water or I need a cup of tea, anything that I need, I have to talk to you. Why? Because you are the leader in that area. You are the leader in the kitchen. So this is what happens with most people. They believe that they are not leaders simply because they don't hold a position. Or yet they have their own areas of dominion where they lead, where they are responsible. So leadership basically is not position. Leadership is responsibility. So if you have your own area of responsibility, you are a leader in that respect. So basically what I'm trying to tell you is that everybody is a leader. But many people argue and they say, if you say everybody is a leader, who then becomes the follower? This is the truth. Everyone is a leader and everyone is also a follower. So it depends on the circumstances or uh, because you are a leader in your area of your gifting. If you are gifted in music, once it gets time for the music, we all sit down and we listen to you because you are the leader when it comes to that. So if you are a cleaner in the kitchen, when it comes to kitchen issues, to kitchen technology, you are the kitchen technician, you become the leader in that respect. So you are a leader in your own area of gifting. So if all people would take their roles with the understanding that they are leaders in their areas, the world will become a better place. Our workplaces will become a better place. Our homes will actually become a better place because everyone is taking their role seriously as leaders in that respect. So I want to encourage you, if you are someone who didn't think that you are a leader or who saw yourself as someone at the bottom of the title position or totem pole, don't look at the positions. Know that you are, you, you are a leader in your own area of gifting. And once you start operating as a leader, you see that your influence starts to expand. It gets bigger and bigger. Why? Because you are operating as a leader. So this is just a word of encouragement to you. If you thought that you are not a leader, you are a leader in your area of gifting. Just find you, what, that which is your area of gifting and operate optimally in that area and you realize that you are a leader. I hope you liked this video and if you did, I would encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel so, and turn on the notifications so that every time we upload these educational videos, you will be notified.